Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Naturally Chris Will. Today, Naturally Chris will prep her breakfast. So as you can see, I am playing around with some goodies. Um, I spoke with a nutritionist this evening and she just kind of reminded me, hey, you need to eat. You've got to eat to get, you know, your metabolism going. So I appreciate that. The first item that I'm going to talk about is Barlow's Original Pancake Mix. It is a product of Atlanta, Georgia. It was established in 2018. It's Look how cute it is on the back. It gives you the nutrition facts, how to cook it, and the story behind their company. Um, it is a black-owned business. Look, it came with the cute little thank you card. And it even came with a little sticker that gives you different options if you're dairy-free, vegan, or egg-free. So I follow the vegan recipe, uh, kind of. All right, next up, I put the pancake mix and some blessed protein. Shout out to Katia for promoting this. Um, it's in the peanut butter cup flavor. I put a scoop of it in there. Um, then I put my milk substitute in there and a little bit of oil. You're going to see me pour it in. Um, I can't remember if you see me mix it up or not, but I put a little bit in there, stir it up, put a little bit more in there till I get it to the consistency I need. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to catch y'all when it's all nice and smooth. So, here we are, nice and smooth pancake batter. You don't want it too thick. Um, you don't want it too runny either. So this was a good middle ground for me. I am going to take that uh, spoon that I scooped the dry ingredients in to use it to scoop it into the skillet. If y'all have a way that is like minimal mess, please leave that in the comments below. And if there's like a pancake or breakfast emoji, leave that in the comments below. Um, it helps me out with engagement. Thank y'all. Um, so we're getting ready to take this little concoction over there. Look at that. That thing sizzling. So I put my plant-based butter inside of the pan. Uh, let it melt. Get it all covered up at the bottom so that the pancake does not stick. And I'm going to get my scoop and scoop it in. Let's see how that turns out. Probably should have brought my stand with me, but hey, it was a spur of the moment. Scoop, scoop, scoop it out. Scoop, 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 scoop it out. Uh-huh, uh, scoop, scoop, scoop it out. Scoop, scoop, scoop it out. All right, so there's my scoop. Um, you let it sit in there. When you're cooking pancakes, you kind of just let it sit inside of the butter. Let it do its own thing. You are looking for bubbles in the middle. Um, the outside edges or corners will kind of turn up a little bit. Sometimes you can peek up under there and see if it's turned brown a little bit. But once you're in the habit of cooking pancakes, you kind of know what to look for. So... That's me pointing it out to you, and we're just going to let that one sit. Let it rest, let it rest. Let that pancake sit there and let it rest. In that pan, yeah, that's my breakfast. Okay, so here we are back at it. I sprinkled a little razzle-dazzle on top. Um, it's a mixture. Just to make it a little sweet. And yes, it is vegan friendly. You see it bubbling at the bottom. The corners are turning a little bit brown. We're going to look for a few more bubbles closer to the middle. There we go. And it'll be about time to flip it. It doesn't look the prettiest. I obviously tried to pick it up right there. And uh, instead of going all the way to the bottom, I kind of dug into the pancake. But hey, when I'm cooking it, I don't care what it looks like. I just care what it tastes like. Ooh, look at the stove. Look how pretty the gas stove is. Okay, back to the pancake. All right, so we're going to let it sit for another minute. 
and then we'll get ready to flip it. All right, well, there it is. It was time to flip. I let it sit on the other side for just a bit. And while it is warm, I go ahead and add whatever toppings are on there. Sometimes I add butter. Um, this time I was feeling a little peanut buttery, so I added some peanut butter on it so it could kind of melt down and warm up with the pancake. And you know what, y'all? It looks so good that I went ahead and ate that one. Yeah, yeah, I did. I got two more out of that one cup that I made and, you know, added my scoop of protein powder. There it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I can't ever start with a whole something and then show y'all, but here it is. It was so good. It was just the right amount of crunch. It was just the right amount of fluffy. It was sweet. It tasted amazing. Shout out to Barlow's Pancake Mix Original. I will definitely be purchasing again. I thoroughly enjoy it. Here I am trying to hurry up and finish this pancake so that by the time I finish it, it'll be time to flip the other one because I'm going to use that same plate. I'm going to put the next pancake on there and that one will actually be my breakfast. Chew it. I said chew it. Chew it. Okay, so here is the second pancake. This is the one that I'll have for breakfast in the morning. I put peanut butter on it. I will probably have it with a um, protein shake. And I was able to make one more out of that. It's still hot, but I was ready to go lay down and get comfortable so I put it in a plastic bag that'll be for later on or the next day for breakfast so I didn't put any toppings on that one so here's to my first meal of the day for the next day how does it look in the comments below, tell me how you like your pancakes. Or do you even eat pancakes? Are you a waffle person or a pancake person? Until next time, remember to stay true to you. Be kind, understanding of others and their journey. See you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.